strange posters, and I wanted to tell you about them. What kind of posters? They seem like awareness posters about safe hunting and gun handling, but they've been defaced with these children's drawings. Not sure if it's meant to be a joke. Ugh, those kids again. What kids? Children whose parents think it's better to let them draw on gun safety posters than teach them properly. Yeah, but don't you think those posters are too aggressive? It feels like they're screaming at me. Then they should scream louder. Gun safety is ignored way too much in this country. This is the least I can do. Those are your posters? Yeah, I wrote, printed, and put them out myself. Well, I can't take all the credit. Nina helped with the design. Every once in a while, someone uses them as toilet paper because that's how much people value gun safety here. I didn't know you were such an advocate. We talked like four times. Don't act like you know me. What's your motivation? Is keeping people from dying not enough motivation? Anyway, I better check all the posters and rehang them. Thanks for the info. Maybe more people will read it. Don't shoot when you only have a split second to decide. Yeah, you might not bag those great antlers you can boast about to your buddies, but neither will you mistakenly shoot the friend who went after different tracks an hour ago, and who you could have sworn was much further away. Better safe than sorry. If it looks funny.
experience may not safeguard a hunter from wrongly identifying a target, but create a cognitive bias instead. The sound of a breaking branch, shaking the ground, and the heavy footsteps of deer. You think you hear all the correct signs, and your brain recognizes them as the sound of your prey. But are you sure you aren't just hearing and seeing what you want to? Be humble. Hunters more experienced than you have managed to accidentally hurt humans with their firearms. If they were wrong, you could be too. At least this one stayed pristine. Wow. Picasso. The golden rules of gun safety. Number one, treat all guns as if they are loaded. Number two, never point a gun at anything you are not willing to destroy. Number three, keep your finger off the trigger until ready to fire. Number four, be sure of your target and what is behind it. The golden rules of hunting safety. Number one, follow the rules of gun safety. Number two, Establish and share everyone's zone of fire with one another and know where everyone is at all times. Number three, never climb over anything with a loaded gun in your hand or on your person. Number four, never use a scope on a gun instead of binoculars.
above, identify your target beyond all doubt. Despite this message being constantly repeated, accidents still occur. Are you 100% you have correctly identified an animal? So were all the experienced hunters who killed a person. Try to look at your target with fresh eyes, looking for signs of it being possibly human and not just for the signs of animals, because it happens. Treat every sound or movement as human until proven otherwise. Very funny. You know, you can just keep your mouth shut if you don't have anything smart to say. Have you ever accidentally tried to get into someone else's parked car because you quickly glanced at it and thought you recognized your own? Our brains are trying to help us by filling in information and using assumptions to make quicker decisions, but such decisions can be lethal when operating a firearm. Like mistaking a trash bag for a quickly moving badger, everyone has seen an animal when there was none at least once. So how to avoid it? Breathe in, breathe out, calm down, close your eyes and open them. Is the target you see still the Sitka deer or is it just a funnily shaped bush or your son who suddenly changed location? This is not the Wild West. Being quick on the draw is not rewarded. When in doubt, don't shoot.